So, you know you have assignments coming up soon, and they're the kind of assignments that you need to work forward a few weeks in order to stay on top of, but uh, you're not sure when you're gonna start working on it. Maybe you'll wait until the week before, or two weeks before, that would be responsible, and you'll figure it out then. But what if you don't? That fear of what if I don't when I have a course, uh, or multiple courses like you usually do, that fear really gets to me. That's the chaotic doom that I'm trying to avoid. That just makes me background level anxious for the rest of the term while I'm trying to stay on top of difficult work. And so I try to get around that by using Tick Tick. So I would open up my syllabus. That's how I start this process. And I'm gonna look at when things are due I'm going to put those in my calendar and then I'm going to break down the steps that are needed to get to that end product in time for its submission. So I have my syllabus open here for my philosophy class this term. I can see that I have the essay due on November 4th. I'm going to decide how much work to put into it based on how much it's worth. It's worth 30%, so quite a lot, but it's also quite short, uh, all things considered. I see that it's due on November 4th, so I'm going to add a task here for that. 375 essay. And I'm gonna put this into a calendar I have called hard deadlines. So this is stuff that actually has to happen at that time, as opposed to soft deadlines like this video I think I might release the day before. That could be moved. That's not the end of the world here. Can't really move. It. This is in the Apple Calendar app. You could use any calendar app. But now that I've put that event into my hard deadlines calendar, I'm gonna jump back into TickTick, -tick, which syncs with this. So I can see that this is synced in from that hard deadlines calendar. And so now I'm gonna reverse engineer the mini tasks or subtasks that I need to do in order to be able to submit that on time without getting stressed out so that I'm not cramming it all at the last minute. So first things first, I'm going to put a little reminder to actually submit the essay just in case this is a little bit of redundancy, but I'll put that there. So I'm going to aim to do about four drafts because I don't know, four drafts seems about right. John McPhee has that book draft four. I find that's often how many I end up doing. So I'm gonna first plan when I'm gonna finish that last draft. This is a nice clear open spot I have. So let's see, four. So yeah, what I'm doing here is I'm trying to find the gaps in my schedule by looking at the already scheduled synchronous events, which I have here in orange, and then all of the other things that I could move around, but that are roughly need to be there. I'm gonna jump back to the previous week. I have two kind of big gaps here, so these are probably going to be the places I'm going to use for this. So let's say draft three, or I say draft three. Put that there. Let's put draft two here. And then let's go a further week back. So this is it's due in the fourth. I'm going to do a bunch of work on it the week before, and then I'm going to start two weeks before that. Again, kind of like at least for myself, what I would intuit of like, you know, you should really start going on this about two weeks beforehand. But this way I know when specifically so that other stuff doesn't come in and fill itself in in those gaps. I've made sure that I actually do the thing that kind of feels like what I need to do. So there you go. This even is a little bit tight, but I, I think it's what I'm comfortable with. Um, I might end up spending some more time on this. Like I could maybe Maybe I'll, yeah, I'll put one more thing of like outline slash plan essay. Just for safety, just to have a little bit more buffer. So I have that there. Okay, what else do I need to do for this task? Uh, this course rather. Also, I'm gonna show you some stuff I'd already added in here. So I have these recurring pre-scheduled blocks that I've previously added. I did that at the start of the term just to get something going of each week's reading, starting and ending it. These repeat each time I check them off. So you can see I have those recurring so that I start each week's philosophy reading uh, on the Wednesday and then I finish it on the Monday. Uh, so this is finishing the previous week's reading because I have the classes on the Tuesday and Thursday. I just try to find spots where it's fresh in my mind. So by finishing the reading here, I have the class the next day, it's fresh in my mind. So those are pre-scheduling throughout already. But what else do I need to do for this course? Well, I have two more assignments. One is a first draft of this creative writing, and then I have a final draft of this creative writing. So that's sort of neat. I can split up sort of, sort of like what I just did. It's partially done for me already, but I still need to plan it out. So let's work backwards from there. 
just gonna copy this actually, that'll be a little easier. So that's on November 16th. That's actually a little long for me. Now, I might have done something like putting fill 375 in front. I could go either way on that. Why don't I do that? Sure. So that's due on the 16th. Let's actually plot out when the next one is due too. And so that's due on the 6th. That's a final draft of it. So what is that? Three weeks later? Okay. So fill 375. Let's jump over there. So now that I have both of those in the calendar, once again, I'm gonna jump back to TickTick. -tick. Um, those will be integrated in. Let's go to November 16th, right? That's when the first draft is due. So on November 16th, um, things are getting pretty tight. This is good. Uh, I need to find places to carve out time to work on this creative writing task. So I have a midterm for another class coming up the week after. And so right now I have a study booster for that there. I wanna space those out and I wanna honor those. And so yeah, this is quite hard. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna chunk this together and move. That's a additional study block to do a longer one there. I'm hoping I won't have as many readings to do this week anyways, but let's just leave those for now, just in case. I can always use that as spillover time if it ends up being available. Let's see again, how much is it worth? First draft is worth 20%, about 1,500 words. And then the next one is worth even more after, okay. So this is still, even though they're calling the first draft, it's worth 20%, almost as much as that essay. So I should put in almost as much time on it. So let's do the four drafts again, or maybe, maybe I can do three drafts plus outlining. I would be comfortable with that. So, fill 375, creative writing, preliminary. Let's, yeah, I'm gonna call it that, preliminary. It's the first draft, it's a little bit confusing. Draft three. Okay, so, and then I'm gonna put submit here. I love note to myself that. Just so I remember that. Okay, so when is draft two gonna happen? Okay, nice, big gap there. Okay, when is draft one gonna happen? Again, big gap there. It's nice when the, the spots feel kind of obvious. Okay, so. I wanna find time to outline it. Okay, so I'm gonna go right from finishing that, I guess, here we go. Okay, now before I continue on, let me switch back here to show you what this looks like in the task view. So I have some recurring pre-scheduled. I have these called not section. I'm gonna rename this to discrete tasks. I'm also viewing this in the Kanban view right now, but you can also, you don't have to view it like that. You can view it in the list view, more traditional if you prefer that. I've moved it to the Kanban view because I find it helpful to have these kind of Trello style boards, but doing it all in Tic Tic and it excites me a lot. The fact that I can switch between this Kanban view here and then the list view and then I can also jump between either of those and back into the calendar and when I move things there it updates there so cool so coming back here let's go back to my Kanban view okay I'm gonna make another one called writing and move all of these writing tasks there so this is all writing stuff that way I can kind of parse that out, helps me keep track of it, helps me delineate it, feels less of the chaotic doom. If I drag and change the time when that essay is due, like say, for whatever reason, I decided to work on it there instead, on the Tuesday instead of the Wednesday, and then I jump back over into that project, you'll see that reflected there. Now it's on uh, November 1st on the Tuesday, I just find it helpful to have both integrated in here. 
So I'm gonna keep going here on my end and I'm gonna plot out the tasks in advance for the last assignment, but I don't think seeing it a third time would really be that helpful for the sake of the video. But I hope that was helpful for kind of illustrating the way that I take the information from the syllabus, I put it into the calendar, and then I sync that calendar into TickTick. You could choose not to do the sync. You could just enter it directly into TickTick if you want. But for me, it helps keep a peace of mind that it's it's something firmer, like writing it in a physical calendar, but it still syncs across my devices. So I take that deadline and I reverse engineer from there when things need to happen beforehand. And I hope that it's been helpful to see a little bit of what that physically looks like. I feel like I've confronted that doom a little bit now. I still feel a little uncomfortable because things are tight, but there's not that much I can do about that because I have a lot of commitments this term. So this is the best I can do with planning out how to approach that in advance. And in some ways I feel worse knowing that I do have to fit all of that in now because ignorance was kind of bliss in some ways, but in, on a deeper level, I feel better because I know that I'm gonna suffer less in the weeks to come by having planned this out in advance. It is onerous, but I think it's still worth it. If you try it and it works out for you, let me know. If you have any questions about this, let me know. All the best, bye-bye.